This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Grafton Apple Festival, peacefulassemblychurch.org. It seems like it might be right and wise for freedom folk to uh, take an active role in ameliorating the humanitarian crisis that might result. This uh, would sort of hit on three cylinders. It would, uh, it would help non-combatants. Uh, it would tend to improve relations with our enemies, opponents, whatever you want to call them. That's more important and strategically helpful than you might think to at least make the effort, uh, the effort of maintaining good relations with all who you can ethically. And a, a third advantage to this sort of humanitarian involvement would be that it gives us a more credible uh, voice to speak with against U.S. adventurism. Sort of like Gandhi was taken more seriously uh, because he had been a stretcher bearer in the Boer War. Maybe this is a job for shire sharing. If we don't need a strong charity infrastructure for this, we're going to need it for something. One thing I did notice though that was kind of interesting from the Colorado Springs fire, I guess if you have a disaster that is national in its uh, coverage, but local in its scope, it seems like you end up with a lot more people who want to help than there are people who need help. Uh, shortly after that that fire, there was a website. The idea of the website was you could post what kind of help you needed, and you could post what kind of help you were able to give. And I think the latter outnumbered the former by about 20 to 1. This would probably not be the case in a nationwide disaster, or one that is uh, large in scope, like Katrina. Make government uh, smaller, not larger. For real! Like, real, real! You talk about full security, full employment. Why well, you can have that in a penitentiary? Don't miss this year's Grafton Apple Festival, Sunday, September 30th. Bring a few apples, hang with New Hampshire Freedom Folk, and crank a vintage cider press. Details are at peacefulassemblychurch.com.